Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're checking out a very creative reverb plugin from Universal Audio. Let's get started. Today we're looking at the Lexicon 224. Now this is a plugin from Universal Audio that's based on an incredible vintage reverb, one of the very early digital reverbs actually. It was produced from somewhere in the late 70s until the mid 80s, and you've heard it thousands of times on recordings from Everyone from U2 with The Unforgettable Fire to Talking Heads. A great example is the soundtrack to Blade Runner. There was Lexicon 224 all over that soundtrack. So there's a ton of great sounds available in this plugin, and we've got two big announcements for you today as well. The first is that Universal Audio has released the Lexicon 224 plugin as a native plugin. This means that you no longer need to have a Universal Audio Apollo or satellite in order to run the plugin. It runs completely native with any audio interface in any major DAW on Mac or PC. The second announcement is that this plugin is available individually. You no longer need to buy it in a bundle. So if you just want to get a 224 and apply it to your tracks, you can buy just that single plugin from Sweetwater.com. So let's get started checking out the Lexicon 224. Now, a cool thing about this is it's actually endorsed by Lexicon. And in fact, the algorithms that are in the plugin are the exact same algorithms that were in the original hardware. So you are getting a 224 reverb when you purchase this plugin. Now, being a plugin and being Universal Audio, the attention to detail is just amazing. The look of it is very authentic. The sound of it is authentic. As I mentioned, we have the real algorithms, but they've also added some really nice touches, and we'll talk about those as we check this plugin out. So this is our user interface, and it resembles the Lark, which was the original remote control for the 224. The 224 was a large rack unit, and then you had a remote control that sat on your console, and you used that to call up programs and to edit programs and things. So this represents the UI. Basically, we have eight different algorithms here, eight different programs, eight different types of reverb, if you will. Everything from small hall to vocal plate, chamber. We've got room A, and there's also a feature where you can click on either chorus here, or you can shift click any of the program buttons and get a chorus program as well. So we have eight different reverb algorithms as well as a chorus algorithm available in this plugin. Now, a lot of the power of the 224 is the way that you determine the reverb time, and that's handled by these three sliders down here. We actually have independent sliders for low frequency and high frequency reverb time, and we can set the crossover point for those. So we can set up a very long bassy reverb. We can set up a very long reverb with a lot of treble, and again, we can determine the crossover point between those. So let's listen to what's happening here when we do that. I'm going to switch over to, uh, let's get off this one. I'm on a kick drum, but let's go ahead and move to a snare drum so we can hear this. I'm going to open up the plug-in. I've got it set to a snare program. So here's our reverb program. It's called Big 80's Snare. Now we can adjust the amount of bass decay time here, reverb time. We can also turn up the mid and high reverb time. And by adjusting the crossover slider, we can set the frequency where those two break. We also can set the treble decay time. Now this rolls off the high frequency over time, so we can make that either very short, We have a ton of control for shaping the sound just with those four sliders. We have two additional sliders on the user interface. The first is depth, and I think of this as sort of a room size control, and it equates to the distance from the source to the onset of reverb. Pre-delay also affects that. Pre-delay is the time between the source occurring and the reverb onset. So you can almost get echo effects as we'll hear in some of the preset when you use that long pre-delay. Across the bottom, we have control over three parameters, reverb diffusion, mode enhancement, and decay optimization. Now, reverb diffusion is the buildup of the echoes that make up the reverb. So we can increase that by clicking here. You can see the parameters changing here, and we can decrease that here. And that's basically going to be the thickness of the reverb. Mode enhancement adds modulation into the signal, and there are a couple different ways we can do that. First of all, we have the mode enhancement switch here, and we can increase the amount to add more modulation, up to 16. And then here, we actually have a hidden menu that we can open up. We have control over pitch shift. And pitch shift, again, is the amount of modulation that we have there. So we can increase that depth 
as well. So we're adding a bunch of mode enhancement with this setting. You can hear when I bring that mode enhancement in, the extra motion in the reverb tail. The original 224 had a second set of outputs, rear outputs for mixing in quad, and they've emulated that here with the rear output. We can also turn system noise on and off. Being from the late 70s, the converters, the whole circuitry and things weren't as advanced as what we have today, and there was some noise in those older units, and you can bring that back in to have true authenticity to what's happening with the plug-in as well. Decay optimization makes the 224 respond to the incoming signal. It actually optimizes the tail to ring properly depending on the input that it's seeing. We can break, turn that on and then bring it up and down using these two switches here. Depending on what you're doing, that can be a subtle effect or it may be more audible. You can adjust the wet-dry mix with these two buttons here. We're at 100 now, so if we bring that down, we can change the dry-wet. Or we can solo or basically set things to 100% wet. As I mentioned, we have a hidden menu here at the top that gives us control over the amount of pitch shift that's in the mode enhancement. We have an input gain, and you can link those for the two channels. So we can set them to stereo or adjust them independently. Same with the output levels. Hold determines how long the parameter is displayed. We have a power switch, which basically is a bypass for the plug-in. And a cool feature is we can actually introduce bugs into the algorithm that's being used by the 224. The original software had a couple of different bugs that might show up occasionally in, uh, in some of the algorithms, and uh, later versions, of course, fixed that. But with this button here hiding under the UA logo, you can turn that feature on and off. So you can either go bug-free, or if you want a few random bugs, you can use that as well. A very nice feature of all of the Universal Audio plugins is the way they set up their presets. So we click on the preset name, now we actually have tags here, and they're organized into different types. So for example, we're in our snare drum, so let's choose drums, and let's choose big snare, drum room, big snare. Here's 80s snare. Fat drum plate. Live room. You can see as I'm changing those presets, the program or algorithm is changing up here. The sliders are moving and the different features are being turned on and off as well. So it's all part of that. Here's our mid-tempo snare room. There's a very distinctive character to the 224 reverb. It's a little bit grainy because, again, we're talking about the late 70s, but it also has a richness, and it just seems to sit perfectly, creating this atmosphere around drums and other sources. Let's switch over and listen on kick drum to some of the presets there. So we'll unsolo this, bring in our kick. Let's open up our presets. We will choose 90s big kick. Lots of fun sounds available in the 224. Now let's jump over here and listen to the 224 on vocals. Sounds like I have a long reverb there already. Let's go ahead and choose a different preset. So let's open our tags up. We'll choose vocal. Here's ballad vocals. Reach down, hold the sound, feel light. Super tight, small ones, and then again. Sweet things on the air, happiness is everywhere. 
Reach down, hold the sound, feel light, super tight, smile once, and then again. Sweet things are in the air, happiness is everywhere. As I mentioned, if you've seen the movie Blade Runner, then you've heard the Lexicon 224 in action. It's capable of some incredible effects. Check this out. I've got a track here that basically is whispers that go along with what's happening. Let's go ahead and bypass here. Hold the sound. Feel light. Super tight. Okay, let's listen to that again. But we'll turn on a preset called Atmosphere. The capability of the Lexicon 224 to create those kind of sounds is because we have that control over the bass and the mid highs as well as the treble decay and that crossover point. So you can really dial in the different parts and create these big rumbling reverbs, these wide open, really bright hissy sounding reverbs and everything in between. Whether you want a natural sound or you want a special effect, the Lexicon 224 is a great choice. And remember, you can now purchase that individually at Sweetwater.com and it no longer requires that you use an Apollo or a satellite interface that works with any interface in any DAW. Thanks for checking it out with me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. Music